art craft thing here. I kind of tried to see what I was going to do. So I went to Dollar Tree and I got these little pumpkins. They're so cute. And they have little wires on them, but I'm going to cut these wires off. And they got a bunch of them. They come together. There's like four for a dollar that you can get. They come on this. And I got some little leaves here. They come in a bag. There's different sizes in here and different kinds, um, different colors. There's all kinds of them in here. They got these too. I like these ones. And they got um, some uh, red ones. And I'm just going to show you a few of them. And they are, there are some big ones and small ones. So I got those for a dollar. Excuse me. So, and I got some wire. Um, what do they call this? Whoops, can't see. <laughs> Forgot my glasses. Okay, so these are called wire jude cords. So it comes like in a rolled up thing here. I unraveled it because I wanted to see what I could do with it. <coughs> Excuse me. And so we roll. It came like this on the roller round. So I cut some off and what I'm going to do, I'm going to crazy glue right here and we're going to crazy glue this here and we're going to make it kind of like a wreath but I'm going to make it for the door handle so you have a little decoration for the door handle. Um, I have one I'll show you. Um, I did not make this one. This one I got. I got at Dollar Tree for a dollar. You know, you've seen these probably before. So, these have bells on them. So, I'm going to put this at the front door. And I'm going to make this one and put it on the back door. That's what I'm going to do. So, kind of decorating for fall a little bit. I don't go all out, but I do some few things here and there. And then if I find something, I add, you know, here and there once a year. So... Anyways, we're going to crazy glue this right now. And what I'm going to do, I had some extra stuff here. This is a little bit thicker. And after I do this and glue this together, because I want it to be round, just like that one. Now this is going to be probably a little bit bigger. And um, then I'm going to take this and I'm going to wrap it around, kind of like that. And I'm going to go all the way around the whole thing. So... That's what I'm going to do. Um, let me crazy glue this real quick. And then we can get its shape. And you might have to kind of make it its shape like a circle, you know. And I used it, I want to on top. Because I'll make it a little bit thicker. Because it's pretty thin if you use it just one by itself. So, okay. So I'm going to crazy glue this. I think my gun should be ready. Every time I do this, I burn myself. I'm not good with crazy glue. I mean, hot glue gun. I'm calling it crazy glue. But it's hot glue gun. And uh, so we'll kind of put this together. And that's going to be hidden from the other one, too. So let me get a uh, towel here. Okay, guys. So I glued it here. And I glued this piece here onto here. So I cut it off a little bit here, but I want to make sure I got enough. So if I got to cut it again, that's fine. So you just want to wrap it around a little bit. And I'm just going to go around all the way around. If you want to space it, you want to put it close together. Um, I probably, I think I might put it closer together and um, keep it like that. I got plenty of this. So, um, it's not very big, but, you know, you just want to kind of wrap it around and keep it tight because you want, you want to try to keep your circle, you know, and, uh, keep it tight as you can. And, oops, I keep messing the stuff up there. And we'll just keep going. I'm going to do part of it so you can see, and then I'll stop and I'll finish it, and then I'll come back. So you can see. So you don't have to sit here through the whole thing. 
you get the idea anyways. I mean, it's up to you. If you have something colorful you want to use, you could use that here too. Um, I didn't find anything that was really colorful that I could use, so I had this, so this is what I got to use. So I'm using it. Stuff that I had at home pretty much, except for those that I showed you that I got at Dollar Tree. And I also got this at Dollar Tree. It's a ribbon. And I'm going to use that to hang it. It's a little bit of a decoration. But I couldn't find any orange. I wanted an orange one. I couldn't find any. So that's what I ended up with. But that's okay. It'll be just fine. Kind of gives this a little bit of more strength. And it'll keep the circle. So... You're kind of making a little wreath for your door handle. That's what you're doing. And I think that would be fun to, to do. You know, I mean, I know you could buy these for a dollar, but you know what? Sometimes just making your own stuff makes you happier. You know, if you just gives you something to do if you're bored. I'm never bored, but some people are. If you like to do crafts, and this is kind of nice, you know. Sometimes it's just nicer to make things than it is to to buy it. So, but you kind of get the idea. There you go, as you can see it. And I'm gonna go all the way around, and I will be back. Okay, guys. So now I got it all the way around, pretty much. Now, I mean. You can move it around a little bit to kind of even it out a little bit, you know, make the circles not too tight, but you want them, I did it because I want them, um, you know, to be stronger, so I can put my little pumpkins on here, and it'll help it, so that's why I did it, it's mostly for that, the strength, it's not for decoration kind of thing, so, but, if you want to make it closer, you can. I put my finger in between each one. That's what I was trying to do to kind of give it a little bit of a gap. I did get a little bit tighter over here for some reason. So you can move them around, though, because they're, you know, loose. And um, to even it out, because you want it to kind of look at like that, you see. And it gave it a shape, you see. So what I'm going to do here, here's the end here. So I'm going to cut this off, and I'm going to... I'm just going to wrap it around again here, and I'm going to cut it right, right here and glue it here. Because what I'm going to do is take the ribbon and put it around here. So that will be the top, and that will be hidden. So, and we'll do it that way. Okay, so I will do this part, and then I'll be back. So I glued it. Now you can see, yes, it's fat up here. So this is where it's going to be hidden anyways. So I'm going to put my loop in first before I do everything else. So then that way I know what size I want. And what I'm going to do is put this here. And then I'm going to loop it. Probably like that maybe. And hang it. So you can hang it. So I don't want it too long because it's for the door. It's you know, to put over the door handle, so, um, you know, you don't want it too long, and then that way, yeah, so I'm just gonna kind of hide my knot here, and go like that, and that would be my little, little loop thing, so I'm gonna cut this off, and I'm gonna glue it, and I'll be right so back. So, now you can see, I got my little ring and my handle here, um, you know, you could do whichever you want. You don't have to put this on there if you don't want to. You could just have the ring itself and put it around the door and decorate the, the thing. I look at it as a miniature reef for your door handle. So what I'm going to do now, now you can see this a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I got some leaves here. I hope you can see these. And I'm going to use some of these. I'm going to layer them on top of each other. And... Um, I'm going to put two on top, one on top of the other, just like so. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of put it on an angle, kind of 
kind of on the angle. you got to choose what side you want. I think I would like this side better. Yeah, that, that will be on the outside. So this I will try to um, kind of put it like that. If you can see. Sorry. Let me see if I can hold this a little bit better there. So you can see a little bit better. And I'm going to glue them on there. And I'm going to double them. And I'm going to put a couple of more on each side to balance it out. I'll put another one over here. And then I got these ones here that I'm going to do. And I'm going to put them here. Oops, sorry. And I'm going to put these here. And then what I want to do is take the wire off of this. And I'm going to put the pumpkins. I'm going to put two of them in between. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so this is how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to do some gluing here. I'm going to glue these two together first. And um, we'll do that. And uh, I've got so many different colors here. I'm going to use those and then I'll, I'll do a red one here. I got a red one. So I'll do this one. And I think they're the same size. So you want to find one that is a little different. Let me see. They have the, these ones here. So that's a little different. Eh, that's the same size still. I'd like to go smaller if I could. Let me see if they have a smaller one to go with the big one here. They got all kinds of them. They're, they're cool to watch, play with. I mean, you could use this for all kinds of stuff. You know, it's really... I really like these too. They're, they're neat. I could do like two of these. I think they're both the same size though, but you can see the other color. If it was a little bit smaller. Yeah, see these ones are smaller. So I'm going to take, let me see here. This is an orange and a red one. And I could do that. Um, oops, sorry. Yeah. And kind of do it like this. And, and put them together like that. And then, um, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do one on this side. And I'll do it on a corner. Kind of. And then I'll do the other one on the other side. Kind of do it like that. If you can see it. And see how well it works. Okay, but right now I'm just going to glue these together. So we're going to take a little bit of this glue gun stuff here. And I don't need a whole lot, just enough for it to stick down. And you want to keep it, you know, where you can see the outer one the same as the other one. I hope you can see this. Let me see. If I can get you a little bit closer, I'm going to bring you down some more. We'll bring you down, so. Let me see. So you don't need to watch me, you can watch this. There we go. Uh, let's see if you can see that. There. How's that? Not bad. I'll bring it out a little bit. There we go. That's better. So I just glued these two together here, as you can see. Okay. And I'm going to glue these two together here. So I'm just doing it on the back of here. Should, yeah, I guess this will be all right. It doesn't matter what side, I don't think it matters. Some of them have decorations on them, some of them don't, so it has a decoration. So I'm going to keep the decoration in the front and put this one on top. Kind of, You can't really see the decoration, but kind of gives you put two leaves together, just like so. All right, so we got two here. That we done. Okay, so what I want to do... As I noticed, this to be the front, I guess. I think this is the front. Yeah, we'll make this the front. So what I'm going to do is take the one. 
And I'm just going to kind of put it in here a little bit and glue it down in there, right in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh, allergies. So I'm just going to glue the bottom, as you can see here, and just make the hot glue gun and put a little bit there. Now if I need more, I'll add more, but I don't want to put too much on here because then it becomes one big huge glue gun. A bunch of glue. So I kind of want to just kind of put it in here, so yeah, hopefully this will work. I have not done this before at all. So I just want it to stick down enough where you can see it a little bit. I don't want it to lay flat either. No. So, so kind of like that. And then I'm going to do the other side with a different one, kind of the same. And let's see, that'll look cute, I think, hopefully. And you'll see that. All right, so we're going to glue this one on here. And ugh, glue gun stuff. And we just, it doesn't matter if you overlap it a little bit, that is fine. And there you go. Kind of, let me get my hoop here so I know what I'm doing here. I think I got in the wrong place a little bit. Kind of like that, see? There you go. So now as you go around, you know, you're going to, I can move this a little bit. Yeah. You may want to make it a little bit longer, but I don't really want it too long because if you make it too long, then, you know, it's going to be way down the door. It depends on what you, what kind of door you have and what you want to do. Make it your own. That's what I say, you know. Make it your own. And you might come up with a better idea than me. I mean, you know, you might might like something better. So now I'm going to glue these two onto here, like so. And I'm going to do that. Now I do like the green one. So what I could do, because I got this green that I didn't know I had, I could do one and one. Kind of do it like that. Or, let's say, I got the yellow one on that one. Let's see if we can find an orange one here. And we can kind of put the orange with the green. And we'll do that, and we'll do this. So what I'm going to do, uh, you're kind of seeing it upside down, but that's okay. And um, what you're going to do, I'm going to glue these two together. I'm going to glue these two right here together. I hope, yeah, I'm going to glue these two together too. Um, and then we're going to put one on each side like that. And then I'll show you. Okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So there you go. And that's what it's going to look like. It's cute. And I kind of just angled them a little bit. Um, this one's more onto the rope more than I really wanted, but there you go. There, I fixed it a little bit there. You can still move them around because they're they're still not all that. Um, yeah, it's still hot from the glue, so there. So now what I want to do, okay, these pumpkins, they come with little sticky things in them, so I don't need the sticky things, so I'm going to cut this off and put it as far as I can. I think this will help work, I hope. There we go. So we cut it off. And what I'm going to do, this is what I want to do. I'm going to put crazy glue there. I think I'm going to put two pumpkins in there. I'm going to put one on each side. So let's see what it's going to look like. Okay, so we'll put... Two of these little doodads. 
And I don't think they'll stand up there, but here, let's see if we can hold on to it so you can kind of get the idea what I'm trying to do here. Now, they're really kind of tight. So, and they're all the same size, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get two in there. Let me see. If I put one over here, kind of on the side, I'll do it like this. Maybe like that, or inside. Let's see if we like that. Put it on the inside. I kind of like that. That would look cute. So I'm going to do that. That's what, how I'm going to do it. It's on the inside a little bit, okay? One on each side. And then I'll come back. All I'm going to do is crazy glue it. I mean crazy glue it. Me and this crazy glue stuff. So hot glue it. And we're going to put it on there. Okay, so. okay guys, so our pumpkins are on there. Now they almost fell off, so I had to kind of just kind of um, wait and let make sure they get dry a little bit so they don't fall off. Now this one's a little bit off, I think. I don't know. Let's see. That's kind of cute though. Yeah, I like it. Um, yeah, I'm not too happy with the pumpkins. I might move them around a little bit more. Just kind of make them even, you know. You don't want them to, you know, look. One's in the front and one's kind of going backwards here. So let's kind of move this one. I don't know. Let me play with it and I'll come back. Okay, guys. So there you go. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put much more on there. I don't want it too, too much, you know. You don't want to overdo it. Um, I could do a... A little thing here let's see um, I could glue something like that um, I don't want to it ain't gonna look good it's too big so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna make a couple of bows and my bows aren't the greatest but I'm gonna make them <laughs> and I'm gonna put one probably down here right here and I'm going to try maybe to put a bow. I don't know. These are kind of gathering this loop here a little bit more than what I wanted it to, to do there. So there you go. I'm going to put a little bow down here. I think that's all I'm going to do is put one little bow down there. So I'm going to make the bow. I'm not very good at it. So I will make it and then I'll come back and show you my bow if it works out. I'll be back. I didn't show you how to make the bow because I'm really not the goodest, the baddest, the best. <laughs> I can't talk. Anyways, I'm making one. But there you go. I made a little bow there. And I just glued it down. And uh, you make your bow the best you can. Some people can really make some good bows. I suck at it. But, you know, it is what it is. So there you go. Isn't that cute? And also what I was looking for here, I could have put... Um, you know, those little tiny signs that might have said home or welcome on there. And you could have stuck it back down on the end here. Um, you could have wrote something. I was looking, I have those chalk labels. I was looking for them. I was trying to see if it would fit here. And I could glue it there and put like welcome on there or something. You know. But anyways, I couldn't find it. So I decided to put a bow there. And there you go. That concludes my door handle wreath. Miniature wreath. There you go for your door handle. And um, yeah, so I hope you, you liked that one. I'm gonna, um, yeah, I liked it. I think it turned out pretty good. It's cute and harvesty. I'm gonna show it to you on the door, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, as you can see, I'm at the back door. It needs. All right, there we go. So you can see, and I'm just going to put it on here, just like so. And I'm going to have it hanging, just like that. That's why you don't want the handle too long, because if you did, it would be way down there, and you don't want it too long. I could have made it a little bit longer, maybe, for this door handle, but I think it looks cute. We don't use this door too much. We use it once in a while. There you go. That's a better picture for you. And... Um, you know, yeah, it's cute. I like it. Very cute. Gives it some hominess. And um, I could change them around. Let's, let's change it from the front door and see what it looks like at the front door. Okay, guys, so there you go. It's at the front door now.
It depends on your handle, too, and what you got for your door handle. So you want to make the, the rope a little bit longer you can. Um, I just didn't want it too long where the wreath was down here in the bottom here. I wanted it about, about here, really. So I kind of made it a little bit too short. But, you know, opening and closing the door, I think it'll be fine, you know. If you want to put it on the outside, you can, too. I mean, you know. Give it a little decoration outside, too. So, yeah. So, I just wanted to do it in the inside and see. So, it turned out pretty good. It's cute. And there you go. Yeah. So, and it was simple and easy. And, you know, it was something, you know, you could put together. And you can make a bunch of them. You know, put them together and make kind of like uh, three rings. And uh, hang it that way. I mean, you, it's, it's endless what you could do with it. Um, you know. So anyways, that concludes my crafting for today. I have another one, which is not really much. Um, I'm not going to do too much but paint it. So, But I'll, I'll bring you along with it so you can get an idea what I'm doing. And um, yeah, I love these leaves. These are so cute. I got them at Dollar Tree for a dollar. So yeah. And you can use them for all kinds of stuff. You know, you can make your own wreath, a bigger wreath, you know, a big, big one or whatever you want to do. And, um, yeah, so I like the pumpkins too. They're so cute. Aren't they cute? So, anyways, that concludes for today. Um, Monkey says she's out for now, and y'all stay tuned. I got more videos coming up. Bye, y'all. Have a great week. And, well, what is it? Thursday. Yeah. Have a great rest of the week. And hopefully I'll have something up for the weekend. Bye, y'all.